I wanted to bring on Susie Sandoval of Organizing, and she is a organizing expert, and she is here today to show you how you can simplify your makeup bags, whether you're on the go, whether you're traveling, maybe you can set up a makeup bag in your car or just at home. <laughs> Thanks, Madeline. Yeah, I just have some um, ideas, just some quick ideas on how to get keep your makeup under control. So what do you want to start with? Travel bag, on the go bag, or at home in the bathroom? Um, I say on the go because I am always on the go. And Okay, and you are a busy mom on the yes. go. You're a busy mom, you're an entrepreneur, and you're a makeup artist. Right. So you're always around makeup and, um, and then also, like you said, these little things on touching up throughout the day so that we can feel as beautiful as possible <laughs> is really important. Um, so we're going to start out with just um, this simple little bag. Um, you can use... Any, you can use like a pencil holder, you can use a makeup bag. If you're someone who needs to see everything, then you want to use a clear bag. Mm -hmm. I'm typically that type of person who likes to see everything, but this bag was so cute, I couldn't resist. I like the colors. Yeah, and when I open it up, you've got, I don't know if you can really see it there, but you've got three different pockets, and I love getting things where they have um, separators because mm -hmm. then that helps keep things organized. So one of the things that I have is gum. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a plus. <laughs> Fresh breath. Um, watermelon, sweet watermelon is my favorite. Um, I also have a crystal, just a good luck crystal. I get into like kind of energy work and I always have like a foundation, like a transparent, um, mm -hmm. transparent powder and then a really nice brush. That's really important. Um, I used to bring kind of the cheaper brushes and I figured when I'm on the go, that's when I actually need like my nice quality stuff as right. well. So I have that. And then I have some lip glosses, um, and of course, we're I women. I love NYX Cosmetics. Right? I have, like, tons of lip glosses. You have to have, um, this is one of my favorite, organic chocolate mm, um, chapstick. Yum. Yes. So, yummy on the go. And then I have um, a couple colored lip pencils. So, like, one is more for every day, and then one's more for evening. Okay. So the great thing that I love about the travel, and then I have a lip liner. So the great thing that I love about this is like, because it's on the go and I can bring it with me anywhere, it's good for all day. And then also, again, if I want to go out for the evening, I can just pop on that red lipstick and then I feel like I'm much more um, dressed and ready for the night. And then on the right hand side of this pocket, I have, I always have hand sanitizers. And this one's for bath and, bath and body. Mm -hmm. And they always have like the best scents and stuff. They do. That one's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have, um, oh, this is kind of funny. So basically this is like um, one of those electronic, um, like if you want to just, if you need to touch up your eyebrows. Very handy. Yeah, then you can use it for that, you know, if you want to. That would actually be good for um, a photo shoot. Like also because sometimes you have unruly brows and you need to clean up. Yeah, so these are great. super easy. I like using these. I have tweezers as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you probably know you're a master yeah. at eyebrows. So um, these are both portable. Yeah, and where do you get this one at? The... This one you can get, oh my gosh, you can get them at um, most stores. If you look in the beauty section, you'll mm -hmm. find them. Um, but like Ult Ulta or Sephora, um, even like Walgreens has them I've seen. And what is the cost of that? This is 10 bucks. Wow, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, super Expensive. reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I have perfume because, you know, we want to smell good. And um, and then I always keep a little um, extra. I have a Band-Aid. And then I have these little, oh gosh, I don't know what you call them. They're like um, those fashion strips. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I always have fashion strips with me. They've come in at the most ideal times. Like if you're ever having a wardrobe malfunction mm -hmm. and you yes. you know a shirt that's coming out or something and you need <laughs> you need to not show you yeah. want to make sure that you're in charge of what you're showing, so <laughs> you can use these as well. So this is my basic travel on the go um, little pouch that has all my stuff. So this is like if if like if you're going over to a friend's house or a boyfriend's house, like a you know, boyfriend's house or something like that for a night, um, then this is um, it's one of those just makeup travel bags, and it just 
folds open like this. So these are my favorite because you can just stick it on a hook in the bathroom. And then again, everything's visible so you can see what you have. Um, so pretty much I have these organized. The top part is really foundational stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so blush and um, foundation and a mirror. And then the middle one gets more into eyeshadow and eyes. Okay. Um, because I always have my on the go with me and all my lip stuff is in there. Mm -hmm. So it kind of works together. And then I have more on the bottom is going to be, um, I've got extra barrettes. I have like safety pins. Um, I have little like toothbrushes and deodorant. So again, this is more on the go, like travel just in case. Um, and it's really nice because any last minute things that come up, I always have it with me yeah, and I don't have to worry about packing. And you never know. You never know what's coming up. Yeah. These are just, it's a little hanger. This one's I love that. actually two-sided. So this is for the makeup that I don't use on a regular basis. These are like if there's extra special events, I've got like glitter and... Um, I've got my eyelashes on here and all sorts of things. This is really good, again, if you have space for some of your stock or makeup that you wear but you don't wear on a regular basis um, so that you are able to um, access it and see what you have. But you can just put this, like I put this right behind my bathroom door and hang it up and it's, it's really um, simple to grab what I need. That's great. Yeah. So those are just a few ideas of some ways that you can organize your makeup. I hope this helps you. Yes, tremendously. And for the viewers out there because they're always looking for different ideas on how to pack and what to pack and not because some of us makeup junkies, we have like an excessive amount of makeup and we don't know what to do with it or yes. how to organize it. Well, I hope that was helpful. I know that part of keeping makeup organized is also just being aware of what you're constantly bringing in and if you continue to buy new makeup it's important to be looking at the makeup that you're no longer are using um, and so making sure that you're checking expiration dates putting all of your like items together so like all of your eyeshadows together all your lipsticks together when you have them all together you can actually see how much you have and it's much easier to make decisions on if you need to keep them or not mm -hmm. so i hope that helps and also i'll be including um, a little blurb on expirations for makeup so if anyone has any questions on you know the the longevity of foundation or mascara um, then you can access that as well that's great we Thank all you. need to know that yeah good so check out Organize Zen Living, www.organizezenliving.com for more information on how to organize and simplify the different areas of your life so that you can create spaces that you love that reflect the best version of you and the lifestyle that you have. Well, thank you, Susie, so much. Thank you. <laughs>